So this is a time lord deck, but not just any time lord deck. This is a no gem time lord burn deck. So the win condition of this deck is to burn your opponent to death using the time lord cards that burn. So including Michion that halves your opponent's life points, Sandion that takes a thousand. Raphion that uh, deals damage equal to half the attack of one monster, and a Metion which bounces all your opponent's monsters back to the hand and burns your opponent for 150 for each, and powerful trap cards like Skull Invitation. This card is insane. Every time a card is sent to the graveyard, including from a skill, you deal 300 damage, and that also. Uh, includes yourself. So if you send cards to the graveyard, you also take 300. But that doesn't really matter because um, you will be burning your opponent more than you will be burning yourself because of all the other burn cards that we have. We have Travel of Spikes, which burns your opponent for a quarter of the original attack of a monster that attacks you during the turn in its normal or special summoned. You have Just Desserts. This card just deals burn damage. It deals uh, 250 points of damage for each monster your opponent has. Zoma deals a uh, half the attack of the monster that destroyed it. Scrap Iron Scarecrow doesn't deal damage, but it does help you stall. Oops. And uh, Magic Cylinder negates an attack and deals half the attack back to your opponent. Our extra deck is nothing. We're just playing a bunch of random stuff to fill in the slots of the extra deck. And for the skill, we're playing Chain Reaction. This skill deals 200 every time we activate a trap. And and yeah, so even if we activate traps like Scrap Iron Scarecrow, that doesn't deal any uh, damage itself, we still get to deal a bit of the damage using our skill. And this deck is terrible. This deck is so bad. Uh, it is cheap. You don't get any gems to build this deck, but it is bad. So if you're building this deck, don't expect you to be winning a lot of games with this. And it is also a bit boring if you are playing with or against this deck. You're just sitting there with a bunch of traps and waiting for a opponent to burn themselves with Skull Invitation, which isn't a very fun way to play the game, but it is your choice. You can decide whether to play this deck or not. I wouldn't recommend this deck, but here it is. <laughs> Good luck to our opponent. It is the draw phase. I don't want to activate it during the draw phase. Okay, let's activate it right now. Shame reaction. 200 damage. MST Yeah, probably a good idea to pop my setback row, otherwise I will pop his monsters Oh no, he's gonna fuse away my time lord That's a lot of damage he's taking. Take another 300. Goodbye.
Wait. He has a cider. And he gets to effect damage. Okay, we need a time load. That's not a time load. We're out of time loads. We really need a time load. He's taking more damage. Even more damage. That's a lot of damage he's taking. I think I don't think we even we even need a time load. We can just burn our opponent using only skull invitation. And we do have a travel of spikes, so as long as he doesn't destroy our travel of spikes, we win. I think. Yeah, if he attacks us right now, yeah, we. I think we win, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we just activate travel of spikes. We burn our opponent for 200. We pop his monster. We burn for more. Skull invitation. Finish him off. He's he's bound to his own monster. <laughs> he has to resort to using compos on his own monster. That's kind of pathetic, but understandable, I guess. I guess if we draw just desserts, we win. <laughs> or sundown. It's sundown. We take it. Goodbye. Good game. <laughs> what a fun game. What a fun and interesting and interactive game of Yu Gi Oh! Every time it's super poly. They just super poly my stuff away every time. We just need one sundown. Wait, that works too. Okay, that, I think that's lethal. If our opponent doesn't have it. Okay, our opponent doesn't have anything. We attack. Oh, he does have something. <laughs> it's magic cylinder. Oh no, I'm taking damage equal to its own attack. <laughs> Okay, we need some down. But that works too. 
We just need a lot of time modes. That's what we need. Okay, if he summons anything with more than 2600 attack, we win. Or we draw into a another time mode. That works too. Okay, he if he attacks with any monster, he loses. Okay, if he sends anything to the graveyard, he loses. <laughs> Oops, didn't mean to go to battle. Okay, if he activates anything, he loses. That is something. Goodbye. Good game. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Normal summon Michion. And I set. I set. I set a card. Uh. Why is he only having three extra deck cards? What is he playing? He's setting one pass. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Here's a uh, skull invitation. And here is uh, another skill invitation. Have fun with that. Aww. The Phantom Knights of Dark Gauntlets. He's just sending another card to the graveyard so I can deal more damage. Thank you very much. That is 600. And that is another 600. I guess I just end turn. I kind of don't want to activate my Just Desserts right now. I kind of want to save it. This is the worst replay ever. I, I, I guess you can't expect a lot if you're playing a burn deck as boring as Time Lords. What? 
What is he playing? Just sending more cards to the graveyard. I don't think that's a good idea. I think he just wins this turn. I don't, yeah, I think he just attacks and wins. Probably should have set my trap the spikes and not use just desserts. Wait, hold up. He's sending cards to the graveyard. Hold up! We win! <laughs> he killed himself! Yeah, let's go! 